Hi everybody, happy Saturday. Wow, we have another such a windy day here in Denver. It is howling again out there. Barney got in the back and he's got like a, a big picker from those pickers. I don't know what those are out here, but it's pretty deep in there, Barney. I don't know. How are you guys doing today? I got it. <laughs> Wow, it's nutty out there. I'm just gonna give it a few seconds. I hope you're gonna join me today for my full body workout without the board. Um, this is just part of my body dynamics workout. I have several, several routines included with body dynamics. Um, there's low impact cardio routines. There's, um, hi Ildi. There's upper body strength and core workouts. There's a mat routine for bone health. There's a standing balance and agility routine that I use with a chair. Um, I have an anti-aging workout that targets the major muscle groups. Um, I have an easy chair yoga for those who don't like um, the traditional yoga. I also have a very easy yoga flows and poses routine. Um, I have a body insurance routine that consists of mobility, strength, and endurance drills. And then um, my favorite, which is restore and repair, which is a healing restorative routine that I take you through a lot of hip openers and spinal twists and shoulder openers, all using your breath. So today I'm going to do a warm up. I'm going to show you some seated exercises and some standing balance stuff. And we're going to um, grab our bands or weights if you prefer from um, some strengthening um, exercises and of course some core. And as always, we'll end with um, some nice stretching. So um, I know, uh, listen, LD, can you believe how windy it is out there right now? It is Whew. I'm watching my my swing my swing going like this and I'm just waiting for it to come right off the the rails there Whew. I wonder if you can even hear how hard it's howling um, well listen I'm just gonna get started if that's okay Ildi Barney's a mess he's getting groomed in a couple of days but what can I say I'm doing my best <laughs> All right, well, let's get this party started, shall we? I'm going to turn on some music. Hopefully you can hear it. And we're just going to start marching in place. Nice and easy. And again, if you don't like to do the march, you can always do the step. Or you can just do a simple knee lift. It's up to you. I'm just gonna start getting you warmed up. Get that blood flowing. Prepare those muscles. How are you feeling today? Are you sore from yesterday? I'm a little bit sore. Um, especially in my glutes and my quadriceps. So I'm wondering where you're feeling the most sore, if at all, and um, just how you're doing. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a simple knee lift, 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 just warming up those hip flexors. You know, coming from California, I mean, we had the Santa Ana winds that were pretty crazy, but I don't know that we ever had the kind of wind storms that we have here in Denver. Now we're gonna add those arms, bring your arms here, lift, press. Just nice and easy at first. And use your breath. We're gonna do four more. 
and we're gonna kick it out. Wow. Just a nice, strong kick release. And then we're gonna go back to the march. Pump those arms. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do those hamstring curls, alternating, warming up our hamstrings. Bring the arms here, pull back. Use your breath. And by the way, feel free to put on your own music. I don't even think you can hear my music back here. I'm just afraid it would be a distraction. So feel free to put on your favorite music to work out to. Really use your breath here. Really think about squeezing into those back muscles for four and pull. Three, exhale, two and one. Sidestep it here. Bring it low. Now bring your arms up with a bend in your elbow and we're gonna do a chest fly. So it's a big wide arc with a relaxed elbow and think about squeezing into your chest, warming up those pecs. Use your breath. We got four and three and two. Last one here, sidestep it. You can bring it a little lower if you like. And then we're gonna go back to the walk. Here we go. Punch it. Punch it. That's it. You can pick up the knee a little higher if you want. That's it. Whew. For four, three, two, let's kick it out. Bring the arms out, palms facing forward, make a fist, curl in. Warm up your biceps, relax your shoulders down. And it's up to you, by the way, how high you wanna kick that leg. Strong arm here though. For four and three and two and one and march it out. And now what we're going to do is that tricep kick back with a pivot coming on the ball of the back foot, extending that arm fully, warming up those triceps. Really squeeze it. That's it for eight, seven, and six, five, and four, three, two, last one. Good, and march it. up those knees a little bit higher if you can and by the way if you're doing this later on keep going Ildi but if you're doing this later on and you want to you want to just sit hey that's okay because 
look, we can do opposite arm, opposite leg. Get your heart rate up this way. So most of the exercises we can do sitting. We can do the knee up, shoulder press. We can do the kick with the lateral raise. Okay, so that is always an option to take a seat. It'll be now we are gonna go into that opposite arm, opposite knee up. Lengthen your side body. That's it. Extend long. It's gonna take a little longer to warm up because you know once the temps take a, a dip, you know, it gets chillier. It takes your muscles a little bit longer to warm up and it's even more important because they tighten and contract so much more. So just take that extra time to warm up properly and thoroughly. Extend, extend for four and three and two and one and march it. Pump those arms. Now we're gonna go into a little bit wider of a march. You can do the same thing, sitting on the edge of the chair, just open your legs wider and step it. This is more of like a booty walk, a glute walk. So I'm slightly hinged over from the waist, but I am coming down very soft into the floor. My abs are in tight. And now what we're gonna do is take an even wider stance and we are gonna punch it across the body. We're gonna really work that core. So you're gonna drive this punch from your waist. Now if you're sitting on the chair, you can do this exact same move. I also have with Body Dynamics as one of the bonus routines for Body Dynamics 1, is a routine called take a seat. It is a full body seated workout. So I take you through a warm up, lower body, upper body, core strengthening, and then a nice stretch. So there really is an option for everything. Punch it, drive it from your waist for four, hit it, Three, and two, and one, sidestep it here. Now we're gonna go back into those leg curls, alternating, this time we're gonna bring our arms all the way up. And we're gonna pull down, pull as you curl. Step and curl. Hey Fadi, are you working out? I hope so. Grab your weights or your bands. Pull. If you're gonna use the bands from 60 up, make sure you have the longer band handy. The yellow for beginner, the green if you're more intermediate and advanced. Because I'll show you variations. Pull, pull for four and three, two, and one. Sidestep it here. Bring it low. Remember, the lower you go, the more you are engaging your quadriceps. This is also focusing on your abductors, your outer thigh. Your heart rate should be getting up a little bit. Bring your arms here. Chest press, push. So a lot of these moves are from my cardio, my low impact cardio routine in Body Dynamics 1. I have three different kinds. I have just the cardio walk. I also have a core walk that focuses a lot on standing core exercises. And I have a tone and walk 
where I utilize the towel that you've seen already in many of my exercises. And then in Body Dynamics 2, I have Pep in Your Step, which is just a fun, you know, just a fun routine to burn some calories. You know, let's strengthen our heart and our lungs and get strong and build that endurance. Punch, punch. Two more times and just go back into that side step. How you doing? Feeling warmed up yet? I am a little bit. <laughs> and we're gonna go into the march. Here we go, just step it out. Again, it's up to you. How much energy do you want to put into this? But do pull your body weight away from the floor so you're not pounding. Make sure you always have those, those support shoes on, right? Make sure you've got that good tennis shoe that gives you the support that you need. Now we're going to go into a knee up, arm up. Here we go. Reach. You can do the same exact move sitting in the chair and you know you don't have to go at my pace this is about just moving your body right being consistent getting the blood flowing getting your heart rate up so important so we're really focusing on those shoulders and those hip flexors And then we're gonna go right into an alternating oblique, focusing more on the core now. Exhale down, still working those hip flexors, so use your breath. Let's work up a little sweat, shall we? <laughs> work out some of the stress and the anxiety that we're all going through right now. We have to be here for each other, don't we? Four and three, and two, and one. Now we're gonna go into repeaters, here we go. Go to it at your own pace. Now you can do this sitting on the edge of a chair, or you can do it holding onto the chair if you need to. And the knee doesn't have to come up that high either. Okay, we're just focusing right here. Exhale down. Keep going. Hi, Pat. How are you doing today? Are you working out with me? I hope so. For four, three, two. Let's switch. Here we go. Now, some of you, this might feel way too advanced. Don't get discouraged. Working with the 60 up board is going to give you the confidence that you need, the stability the strength and endurance to eventually be able to tackle a full body workout like this. So it's at your pace, remember? Progress, not perfection. Just doing your, your best. Work it. For four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna go side to side and now we're going to keep those legs wide and we're going to go into an uppercut punch so what I want you to visualize here is there's a big punching bag in front of your body and you're going to come under that punching bag with a fist so I'm really focusing a little more on my lower abdominals here Exhale as you punch. You can do the same move, sitting on the chair with just a march. Still working that core. Just moving your body, right? It's all about patience, persistence, consistency. That's it. Punch it. Four. Hit it. 
three, work it, two, and one, sidestep it here, and back to the march. Here we go. Punch it out. We're going to go back into our leg kicks. Bring those arms out laterally. Strong arm biceps. Curl. Curl and kick. If you're sitting, same move. Raise that leg and do your lateral biceps curl. You got it. And you can pick up the pace if you like. You don't have to. But relax those shoulders down. We're working our biceps. But we are relaxing our shoulders down. For four and three and two and one and march it out. We're going to go back into that pivot and tricep extension. Here we go. Press. Get a full extension. Squeeze it like you mean it. Work those triceps for four and three and two and one and march. How are you doing? Get a quick drink of water if you need to. And then we're gonna stabilize and we're gonna go into a squat. Now I'm gonna show you some variations. You can either do a squat like this. If you're doing the chair workout, stand and sit. Otherwise, you can go behind the chair, push your hips back, and sit. Keep that chest elevated. If you don't want to use the chair, just use those arms to counterbalance. Use your breath. Form is so important here. So you go at the level that feels good for you. You can also do a partial squat. If you have knee issues, if you feel any pain in your knees whatsoever, then please just stop the move and just do a simple knee up, arms up, okay? We got four more. And we're gonna hold this one at the bottom, breathing. And then bring it up slow, squeeze your tush, march it out, grab your towel. And we're gonna do those pull downs first. So bring the towel up, go into your step, pull down to the chest. Lat pull down. Remember you can create your own resistance here by pulling that towel down through thick air. For four, three, two, and one. Back to the step. Okay, now we're gonna bring the towel here, and what we're gonna do is a heel touch, pull the towel in, pull back. Focusing a little bit more now on your posterior deltoids, 
right? Your trapezius, your rhomboids, those postural muscles that are so weak. You can slow this down if you want. You can also do this sitting in a chair. Pull, pull. For four, and three, and two, and one, and march. Roll those shoulders up and back, work it out. And now what we're gonna do is a hamstring curl. So I'm gonna use my chair here. Lean in, the standing leg stays bent. Stabilize. Here we go. Lift, lower. Retract that chin inward. Exhale up. Keep those hips forward and just lightly touch the chair. For four, three, two, last one, hold it at the top, point the toe, lift, lift, tight little leg lifts. Strong hamstrings here, tighten your glutes. For four, three, Two, hold it at the top and release. March it out a little bit before we hit the other side. Pump those arms. For four, three, Two, let's stabilize. Here we go. Other leg, hips stay forward. Pitch your body forward slightly. Straight leg lift. Ooh, I definitely am sore there from yesterday. I feel it now. Doesn't matter how high that leg goes. That standing leg is bent always, taking the pressure off the knee. For four, and three, two. Last one, hold it at the top, point the toe, long leg. Tight little lifts. Four, three, two, hold it at the top, release, and march it out. Get a quick drink of water, and you're either going to grab your band or your weight. We're going to go into a one-arm row. So I'm going to show you first with the band. So I'm stepping pretty close to the handle and stepping back, but I do wanna make sure that I take up the slack in the band. And I'm using the chair here and row. Keep those shoulders square to the floor. Remember if this is too easy, you gotta walk closer to the handle that you work, this handle, or grab the more advanced bands. Now keep that going, or grab your weight. Same move. You can do the same exact move sitting on the edge of the chair. Squeeze into the back. For 
four, three, and two, hold it at the top, and release, and we're going to switch. Step on, step back. Square those shoulders. Here we go. Now keep it going with the band, or I'm going to also show you how to do it just sitting on the chair. Either way you do it, you're working the same exact muscle. Use your breath. Slow and fluid control movement for four and three and two. Hold it at the top and you're going to release that. Into our squats, you pick which version, version you want to do. I'm using my arms to counterbalance. Here we go. Hold it down, hold it here, and bring it up slow, squeeze the tush, we're going to go into our hamstring curls. Hi Jenny, how you doing today? Are you sweating with me? I hope so. Is it just me and Ildi working out? Fabi, are you, are you working out? You sweat me yet? <laughs> Bring your arms up, palms up. Low rope, pull, pull. Exhale as you pull. Look on the floor, make sure you're not gonna step on anything lying around. That would just be something I would do, slip on that weight. <laughs> it wouldn't be good. Pull. Four, three, and two, and one. Sidestep it. Now we're going to keep those legs wide. Mona! How are ya? Okay, we're gonna go into a left hook and a right hook. Keep that going. So now again, we're visualizing that punching bag, right? It's right here, that big punching bag. And we're coming around and hitting it from the side. So if you're sitting, you can march and do this move. It's up to you again. How much energy are you putting into each move? Strong arm here. So now we're really focusing on that side body. For four, hit it. Three. And two, and one, sidestep it here. And then we're gonna march it out. So the next move we're gonna do is a double row. Now you're either gonna grab the band, I'm gonna show you that first, or your weights, and you could do that standing or sitting on the edge of the chair. So first I'm gonna show you with the band. 
So I am stepping on with both feet. I'm gonna go to the side. And if that's too difficult for you, you can step back with the right because that gives you a little bit more range of motion with the band. Remember, you're listening to your own body. We're all at different levels here. Now keep going with the band or grab your weights. I just got fives here and same move, standing or sitting at the edge of a chair. But I want you to think about wrapping those back muscles together like you have a quarter in between your shoulder blades. And then you're gonna squeeze it. Give me two dimes and a nickel. <laughs> I had another physical therapist that used that. I thought that was cute. Or crack a walnut in between those shoulder blades. Four, three, two, and then hold it at the top. And release, and we're gonna set those down. And then we're gonna go into a wide stance Get a drink if you need to, and then jump back in. We're gonna press forward, side to side, making sure that knee is tracking over your toe line. Really working those inner thighs. You can do this sitting on a chair. Just bring your feet wider apart and lunge side to side. And now you know I love this move. So you're gonna bring that arm up and we're gonna reach and pull. Another fabulous core exercise. Crunch, extend, crunch, lengthen. And you use your breath. chair if you like. Hold those abdominals in tight. Keep the spine straight. Exhale down. Pull the abdominals in. Standing leg is bent. Four, three, two, one. And we're going to go back into that sweep. Release. Release. For 
four, and three, and two, and one. And we're gonna switch now to the other side. That was awkward. Here we go. chair, that's fine. That's what it's there for. But you're putting your mind in your biceps, exhaling up and focusing also on the eccentric phase, concentric, eccentric. That's why I kind of love the bands because it really gives you a double duty workout on those muscles. I'm really feeling it. But again, you're listening to your body. If you feel pain in your joint, you please stop, okay? <sighs> Exhale up, and one more time, you're gonna hold it at the top, and then release it slowly. And we are gonna switch right away to the other side. So step on, secure that band. Make sure it's nice and secure. It's not sliding around. Lock that elbow in. Here we go. Curl up. Retract that chin inward. Shoulders depressed down. Exhale up. Abdominals are engaged. Knees are bent. Now if you're sitting on a chair, you can do the same move. Sit on the edge of the chair. Grab your free weight or your can of soup, whatever you got handy. Just use your breath. My left side is, well, I think I'm right-handed, so my left side is obviously weaker. But you do want to try to do the same amount of reps on each side. Hold it at the top. Release it slowly. That's right. And now we're going to set that down, and we're going to go back to a march. And we're going to do that opposite knee and opposite arm extend. So in these routines, I like to do a strength move followed by a low impact cardio move because it also helps to get that blood pumping back into the area or the muscles that were working, keeping that heart rate up. And if you just need to do a march or a step in place, with an opposite arm lift, that's fine. You can do again this move, sitting on the edge of the chair. It's all up to you, right? For four, and three, and two, and one, and march it out. 
Now what we're going to do is go into a side leg lift. So I'm going to use my chair here. So first stabilize. Standing leg is bent. You are going to lift and lead with the heel of that foot. So your foot, remember, is parallel to the floor because we're focusing now on the outer thigh. Exhale up. And if you want to challenge your balance, just take your hand off the chair. So this is going to require that stability, right? So I'm engaging my core a little bit more here. I'm picking a focal point. Use your breath. Control it. Four. Exhale up. Three. Two, last one, and release. And then we're just gonna kick it out a little bit. And then we are gonna switch right away to the other side. Standing leg is bent. Here we go. Lift. Lead with the heel of that foot. How are you doing? Is this challenging for you or have you just mastered it because of the board? Take your hand off when you feel confident. I already feel a huge difference. My legs feel a lot stronger. My balance has much improved and I've only been at it for what, four weeks now? So that's pretty amazing. For four, you're really feeling this in your standing leg, right? One more time. Ooh, I am. And let's kick it out. Just work it out. Release, release. For four, and kick it. Three, and two, and one, and march it out. Okay, now what we're gonna do is go into our triceps. Again, you can use the band if you like. And you're gonna step on with one, the left foot. This time your palm is facing the ceiling. You're gonna bring that elbow up, shoulder height. Shoulder stays square to the floor. Remember, you can make it easier by putting that other foot closer to the other handle. Ready? Here we go. Try to get a full extension. Now, if that's too difficult for you, again, you can grab your weight, and it's the same exact move. Lengthen your neck. And get a full extension on that arm. Exhale up. And you can do this sitting on the edge of the chair just as easily. For four, three, two, last one. Felt that and then set that down. Now, before we hit the other side, let's do some big arm circles, releasing, relaxing for four, three, two, and one, and we're going to switch to the other side. Okay, so I'm stepping on. My right foot pretty close to the handle. Step back. Shoulders are square. Neck is long. Bring that elbow up. Shoulder height. Kick it up. Exhale up. Again, if that's too difficult, grab your weight. We 
remember, if you feel any pain in your joint, you stop the exercise. You should just feel this in the belly of the triceps. Exhale out. Abs in tight. Try to get that full extension. Relax your neck. For four, and three, and two. Last one. Whew. Set that down. And now we're going to bring our arms wide and go into our toe touches. Just working those inner thighs a little bit. Doesn't matter how high that leg goes. And you can go faster if you like. It's up to you. For four, three, and two, and one, and march it here. Now we are going to go into a plie. I'm using my chair, stepping behind the chair, toes all the way out, shoulders retracted back to press down, press and up. Now you can do the modifier. You can just go here. Otherwise, come all the way down, push those heels into the floor, squeeze up into your glutes at the top. Press, push, squeeze. So use the chair if you need to. Otherwise, let's go for it. Now I want you to look down. Make sure those knees are tracking over your toe line. If they're not, then please bring your toes just slightly forward and go into more of a wide squat. I just don't want you to have any pain in your knees whatsoever. And because the inner thigh is a, a weaker muscle group, you have to be patient here. And look, if the plie is too demanding for you, you can simply just do an angled kick, pointing your toe, standing leg bent, and we're still focusing on that inner thigh. And then of course, switch to the other leg so you're nice and balanced. Press, push, squeeze, press. And two more of those. And then you're gonna hold it down and breathe. and then push it up, squeeze the tush. And again, we are gonna go into those toe touches and release. How are you doing? You feeling good? Are you feeling energized? I am. For four, great way to start a Saturday, right? Last one here, and march it out. Get a quick drink of water. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. And now I'm gonna grab my band again, and I'm gonna step on with my left foot, stepping back with the right, and I'm just gonna go into a front raise. Track that chin inward. Make sure it doesn't come above the shoulder. I'm gonna go to the side so you can see. And if you need more range of motion, just bring that foot a little closer to the other handle. Of course, if this is too challenging, just grab your free weight. One more. Woo, I felt that. We're gonna switch. 
switch right away. Bend the knees, tuck the pelvis under, retract that chin inward. Here we go. Stepping back with the other leg. Just working the anterior deltoid here. It does not come above your shoulder. Two more times. And release. Set that down and march it out. I really felt that. This is a good one, actually. Just put your fingertips on top of your shoulders. Hi, Webster. And just roll those shoulders back. Work it out. Two more times, and then we're gonna shake them out. And then what we're just gonna do is do a nice kick. Just starting to cool down a little bit. That's it, release. And then we're just gonna go into a nice step and just do some nice big arm circles back. Release. Keep that going. You know this workout doesn't actually work unless you do it. <laughs> just saying. Maybe you'll do it later, right? I know everybody's not available at the same time, that's for sure. Two more times. Good, and just shake it out. Feels good. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our stretching. If you need to grab a drink first, I do actually. <laughs> So first, we're going to go into our quadricep stretch. So you're going to grab your ankle, bring the knees together, tuck that pelvis under, press the hip forward, and just breathe into the front of your leg. Now, if that's too difficult for you, you can do the same move on your side, on the mat, or you can do it on your stomach. Just keep those knees in alignment and breathe deeply. And then release gently, and we are gonna switch. Tuck that pelvis under, press the hip forward, and breathe. gently and now we're going to go into our calf stretch so step back push the heel into the floor and breathe really focusing on those slow healing breaths step it forward, step back with the other leg, push that heel down. And then release. And then if you have your towel, 
grab it wide, stretch it up and back. Make sure you're not in an arched back position. Always trying to keep that neutral spine. So that means just tuck that pelvis under, retract your chin inward, and breathe. Let's just roll those shoulders up and back. Squeeze and release. Squeeze, let all that tension go. Just work it out. And one more time. And then we're gonna go into our hamstring stretch. So you can just step forward with the right. Your toes are up. Put your hand on your thigh. Push your hips back. Chest is lifted. I like to use the chair for this and lean forward. And just breathe here. Really visualize the breath traveling into your hamstrings with that breath in. And then sink a little deeper if you can on that exhale. stretch sitting on the edge of the chair as well and then standing up and we're gonna switch here we go toes up lean push those hips back Out a little bit, we're going to go into a chest stretch. So, interlock your fingers behind your back, roll the shoulders back, lift, tuck that pelvis under, hold, and breathe. And then release and roll the shoulders up and forward. Squeeze. Let it go. I don't know about you, but this is where I hold all my tension. Two more times. And last one here. Good. Okay, now we are going to have a seat. We're gonna go into our hip stretch. Can you hear that? I mean, I am telling you, any second now my swing, my porch swing is gonna go flying. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to happen. Cross the right foot. If this feels like a good enough stretch, then just stay right here and breathe. Pretty tight here, so this is pretty sufficient for me. Um, if you aren't as tight as I am and you want to pitch forward slightly for a deeper stretch, you're welcome to that. Just focus on your breath. On the exhale, just visualize surrendering a little deeper into this posture, into this stretch. And then you're gonna slowly release out of that. And just do a few little leg kicks. And then we're gonna switch. So you're visualizing that breath traveling into your right hip. So you're gonna inhale slowly through the nose for seven counts. 
You're gonna hold that breath for four beats. You're gonna exhale slowly through the mouth, visualizing that area relaxing and releasing, okay? Here we go. And then slowly releasing out of that. And then clasp your hands behind your head, push your head into your hands, press those elbows back, and just hold this and breathe. And then release slowly, shoulder shrugs, squeeze up, release, depress the shoulders all the way down. Scapular elevation, release, scapular depression. Squeeze, release, and depress those shoulders down. Again, squeeze up, release that tension, and relax good and just shake those hands out we're going to go into a little bit of an easy spinal twist so i'm just putting my hand right here and i'm putting my other hand on the outside of my knee and just slowly looking over your shoulder and breathe If it bothers you to have your hand on the top of the chair, you can simply rest it on the back of the chair, on the outside of the back, just for an easy spinal twist. And then we're slowly gonna switch. and then slowly back to the center. Now what we're gonna do is a seated cat cow. So we're gonna round our back, tuck chin to chest, come up on the balls of our feet, and then we're gonna open, exhale, outstretch the arms for biceps curl. Pull those abdominals in tight, round your back, tuck chin to chest, open, outstretch those arms, drop your shoulders, and we're gonna keep this flow going. Just keep that flow going nice and easy. Forgot to switch the music. I don't even know if you can hear it. two more times. And then just hold this bicep stretch. And then release and shake them out. Now we're gonna go into our tricep stretch. So a big inhale up. Take the top of your elbow, press that other your hand on the middle of your back, push your head into your hand, and breathe.
and then release. Just let it go. And we're going to switch. Stretching out those left triceps. And then release, let it go. Two more big circles and good work. That was a little long today. I hope you enjoyed the workout. If you didn't join me live, I hope you will check out this workout and I'd love your feedback. Now, um, again, I just wanna make sure you all know, I'm gonna make another announcement. I'll post Sunday night that Monday, my class at 9.30 Pacific Standard Time, I will not be able to do that class this Monday, but I encourage you to do one of the many YouTube workout videos on Monday instead. And then um, in replacement for that Monday class that I'm missing, I am gonna teach a beginning class on the board Thursday the 19th at three o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So um, I know Dan teaches his advanced class in the morning, so you have an option. If you'd rather do a more beginning class, then please join me on Thursday, and then we'll be back to our regular schedule the following week. So um, please have a beautiful weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay strong and positive, and please um, give me any feedback. I'd love to hear from you, and I'd love to see how you're progressing and how the board is helping you with your floor exercise, okay? So much love. Bye, Ildi. Have a beautiful weekend. Hope to see you soon. Bye, everybody.